the semi-glutide revolution. So welcome to the show with some of the answers and questions about semi-glutide that so many of you have. The show that actually dives deeply into the world of health, wellness, and the science behind achieving your best body and mind. I'm Marcel Pick, your host and OBGYN and pediatric nurse practitioner and best-selling author. And today we're exploring a topic that's actually on the tip, and I'm serious, on the tip of everyone's minds. And the weight loss drug that's changing the game of weight loss, or is it? To kick things off, let's talk about semiglutide and what it is. It's actually part of a powerful class of medications known as GLP-1 receptor agonist, fancy word. And these drugs are actually something we have on board ourselves, this GLP-1, and they mimic that hormone that regulates blood sugar and reduces appetite. And the result, not only does it help manage type 2 diabetes, that's what it was studied for, but it also supports significant weight loss by making you feel fuller, longer, and reducing those pesty cravings and hunger. And it's actually making a difference in people's lives. And I've seen a surge, oh my God, so many people are asking about it. And why, why are they doing that? So the appeal is actually straightforward. Many people struggle with weight loss, finding it so hard to see results through diet and exercise alone because they get hungry and they have cravings. And semiglutide really offers them hope providing that extra push between achieving their goals. And so many other people are on it. And those that are battling uh, diabetes, certainly it's very helpful for. And the cravings, the hunger, the frustration seems to go away. But let's paint a picture of what we actually see in the lit for you listeners. Imagine someone who's been trying to lose weight for years without success. They decide to consult someone um, who recommends semiglutide. Alongside starting this medication, they make a concerted effort to eat healthier and, and move more. That is oftentimes not happening, however. And over time, they start to see pounds drop off. They feel better, both physically and mentally. And it's a journey that they're so excited about because they never thought they'd be there. Down 70 pounds, 60 pounds. So if someone's considering semiglutide, listen to some of the side effects before you do that, but you need to consult with a provider and my recommendation is, you know, after looking at your medical history, making sure that you are a good candidate because they're now using it for weight loss when it's never been studied long-term for this. So what are some of the realistic expectations? The reality is we absolutely have to change our diet and lifestyle. And we've received so many questions from you about semiglutide. So let's look at a few of them. First off, what is it? And it primarily works by reducing hunger. You eat less because you feel fuller, sooner and for longer periods. It also slows down how quickly our stomach empties, which aids in maintaining uh, that sense of fullness. But, and that is a big but, it also changes the microbiome of the gut. And is that really a good thing long-term? I'm not so sure. And one of the things that we see is a common side effects for so many of you is that, and as you know, many medications have them, they can range from mild gastrointestinal issues like nausea or vomiting on a daily basis to more serious concerns like uh, the stomach and the intestines actually being somewhat paralyzed. And they certainly have risks and everything has risks and benefits, but I'm very concerned about what I'm hearing about the serious side effects that last long after they stop the medications. We also know that many people lose, you know, 50% uh, of the people lose muscle if they're not having high amounts of protein. And in addition to that, when you stop the medication, you also find that they gain the weight back plus 10 extra pounds. So if you're not doing regular exercise and if you're not increasing the amount of protein, what happens is we're eating the regular foods, that many times are made in such a way 
that you eat more servings of it. But with the semi-glutide, what you're not doing is having that extra amount of food, but you still might be eating those fried foods, you still might be eating those french fries. What I'm finding is not really the best options. So we're gonna be doing a, a weekly podcast every week, and what we're gonna be doing is really diving into some of the things that you bring up as concerns, and I'll continue to follow the literature and really show you what my take on this is. Do we really need to help you understand that uh, the whole notion now with semiglutide that I'm so excited about is that it's teaching us that it's not just about willpower. It's about some of the neurotransmitters that are going on in the brain that really affect your hunger and your cravings. And semiglutide seems to be affecting that. However, what is going to be the long-term consequence of that? You have to stay on this medication for the rest of your life. And I have no long-term studies to show what that's going to do for people that are non-diabetics. What is the real name of the game? We certainly need to help you stop the cravings and stop the hunger and that noise of food that can be constantly there. So that's an upside to what we found out from these medications. However, there are some options that work incredibly well. You know, I created some homeopathic drops that do stop the noise of food. They do stop cravings and they do decrease, decrease your hunger. So excited that you were listening to this today. If you really enjoyed this, subscribe and also pass this on to others and leave comments below because we're really so interested in educating you and giving you the most up-to-date information about this incredible surge of interest with the semi-glutide weight loss medications. Hi, this is Marcel. I want to introduce you to a concept that's just so exciting. So we know that the weight loss uh, medications, the uh, semi-glutide variety of um, medications is very effective at decreasing your interest in food. The problem is that for many of you that you know that there are some side effects and many of you that are watching this are seeing that you tried the medication and you didn't really feel very good on it, but you really wanted to lose that weight. The biggest problem I see in the weight loss industry in general is that so many people are hungry and they have cravings for these particular foods. So I created homeopathic drops that don't have significant side effects with nausea or uh, problems with diarrhea or a general GI discomfort. And what they do is they take the noise of food away, they suppress your appetite, and they really allow you the uh, ability to be able to kind of sit back a bit and make some lifestyle changes and change your habits that are gonna be the important thing long-term. So for those of you that are interested, please look at the link below, and it's Marcel, M-A-R-C-E-L-L-E-P-I-C-K.com, and you'll be able to see a link there also for looking at the 21-Day Quick Start, which is a 21-day program in which so many of my patients are losing weight very quickly, and also be able to get the homeopathic drops there.